Hello, this is Chris Anama Green, and I'm presenting an alternative way to deliver Unit 1, Lessons 9 and 10 of Touch Develop. This is a guide for instructors and is not intended uh, for students. This is an overview of Lessons 9 and 10. In Lesson 9, students will finish working on the personal collage project and they will then complete a self-assessment and reflection activity. You as the instructor will demonstrate a gallery walk near the end of this, the lesson. In lesson 10, you will take some time to review gallery walk rules. You will then facilitate the gallery walk and then students will have time to review feedback and incorporate some of that feedback into their personal collage project. The lesson ends with a short journal entry. Let's begin with Lesson 9. Lesson 9 begins with you as the instructor reviewing exit tickets from the last class with the group. You can return these exit tickets to students if you like. So these exit tickets, if you recall, contain each student's status as of the end of the last class period. You can invite students to compare notes with each other by sharing their progress with others. It's up to you how you complete this, if you'd like to do a think, pair, share, or if you'd like to invite a few students to share their progress with others. Now students should take some time to finish their personal collage project. Depending on how far they got during the last class period, you may want to allot 20 to 30 minutes so that students can finish this project. If necessary, feel free to refer students back to the directions that are found in Lesson 8, the Lesson 8 activity, or in the Lesson 8 Touch Develop flipped classroom video uh, that I posted on the Holler website. After students have finished uh, their personal collage project, you should give them some time to do a self-assessment and reflection activity. There's a rubric at the end of the Lesson 8 activity document. Students should fill this out to self-assess themselves. After this, students can complete the reflection activity also in the Lesson 8 activity document. Because you will complete a gallery walk in Lesson 10, you should complete uh, a gallery walk demonstration for students during this lesson uh, to model it for them so that they'll know what to expect the next day. For many students this will be something new. Now if you'd like feel free to follow the instructions located at the end of lesson 9. This is found under the heading demonstrate a gallery walk. These instructions are very thorough and you should be able to complete your gallery walk demonstration uh, without any problems if you follow these instructions. However, my students will be completing their gallery walk while I am away at a training. And so I've developed an alternative activity that is based on the Touch Develop activity. Because my district does not permit substitute teachers uh, access to computer labs, uh, my students will have to complete this activity without access to Touch Develop. So that's why they'll be doing this alternative activity. I'm going to show this video to my students uh, the day before I leave for my training. This is a very short YouTube video by Mark Drollinger and it's called Gallery Walk. Um, this only takes about two minutes to play uh, and it's perfect for introducing students to the idea of a gallery walk. I'm going to show it to my students at least twice I'm also going to post it on my Schoology site where I'm currently managing um, my Touch Develop course. This is the link to the Gallery Walk video on YouTube if you'd like to take a look. Now let's talk a bit about Lesson 10 where we'll complete the actual Gallery Walk. At the beginning of this lesson, you should definitely review uh, the demonstration, even if just briefly, so that students recall what they're supposed to do uh, on this day with the gallery walk. Again, if you'd like, feel free to use the rules and the suggestions that are provided in Lesson 10. However, 
um, I'm presenting some alternative rules and an alternative method of delivery for this activity since my students will be completing it without computers. This is how my students will do their gallery walk. Each student uh, will create a poster on a plain white 8.5 by 11 inch sheet of paper. This small poster will contain a description of the student's personal collage project. Students will leave at least a quarter of the page empty for comments. After my students are finished creating their posters, they will rotate counterclockwise each time the teacher says rotate. This will be every three to four minutes. This should happen until each student has visited each poster. Each student will be permitted to write comments at the bottom of each other student's poster. Please note that this may not work for all districts. Uh, I anticipate that this will work well with my students uh, because I have a small group in my touch develop class and my students uh, like to work collaboratively and by the time we do this gallery walk demonstration my students will already be very familiar with each other's projects. After the gallery walk is completed um, my students will have some time for feedback and revision. So the feedback part will happen while the substitute is still here. This is going to allow my students time to review the feedback left for them by others. When I return, I'll give students a few minutes at the beginning of my next class period to review the feedback left for them by others and to incorporate this feedback into their projects. This journal activity um, will take place for me while my sub is still here. My students will take five to ten minutes at the end of their gallery walk to complete this journal activity. They will answer these questions, and these are lifted from uh, the Touch Develop Manual. I did not modify them. These are the questions. What did you see that surprised you? What did you learn by looking at the work of others? And what did you learn by having others look at your work? I hope this video has been helpful for you. Please feel free to contact me by email if you have any questions. Again, my name is Chris Anama Green. I'm with Jenkins Independent Schools, and my email address is on the screen.